guys. So my name is Nicole Sadie, and I'm a director in Smeetsbury, North Carolina. Um, some people have asked me to do a recording of how I do parties. Um, if you went to the Fayetteville Spring Sprint, then you kind of saw me do it there. But today I kind of want to take a chance to actually tell you how I do most of my home parties. So if you were at Spring Sprint, then you saw how I do my hostess packet. And one of the most important things that I include is the host tic-tac-toe. And you can kind of make this however you want. You can find some on Pinterest. Um, I know that if you get the Spring Sprint um, bag thing that was in our family store, this is available in there as well. Um, and this is just a great way to get your hostess excited before you even have your party. It has things like get $100 in outside orders. That way, if nobody shows up to her party, she's that much closer to getting rewards already. Um, have a $500 party before shipping. That is an awesome party. So basically, if she has rows, squares, um, columns, you can give her a prize. It's just a fun little thing for her to work towards. So now, the day of the actual party, um, I follow up with my hostess in the morning. Ideally, I book my parties two weeks in advance, so I can kind of form a relationship with my customers, and I can um, get her excited, really. It's all about getting excited. So I'll give her her hostess packet, and then I'll follow up with her. I'll ask her what her favorite scents are, what does she want me to warm, how many people is she expecting, um, just different things to get the conversation going. So the day of the party, I send her a Facebook message, a text message, ask her how many people are coming, does she need me to bring a table, all that good stuff. Um, so before the party, the preparation starts at my house. I have to get everything ready for the party. Now for the fall winter catalog, I would go through the catalog and I would say, do I have a premium warmer? Do I have a deluxe warmer? Do I have a plug-in? I would bring a, a, a warmer from every category so they can see everything. But I really like the way that this new catalog is set up. I feel like it um, showcases each kind of warmer, um, different colors, different textures. So I'm going to do it by the times of day as well. So I use the big rolling suitcase, and I just kind of stack everything in there. So from the dawn category, I'm going to bring my goldsmith warmer. From the morning, I have Moroccan sunset. Midday, I have it's a party. Uh, dusk, I have the tiger's eye, and then dream, the chasing fireflies. I like to bring as few things as possible while showing them everything that I like. I'm not going to bring them, for me, I have an easier time selling if I actually like the product. So the classic satin black is kind of boring, I might not bring that. So I bring what I think is going to sell and what I think is going to bring me the highest PRV party so I can get paid more and my hostess can get more rewards. So I pick out which warmers I'm going to bring and then I flip to the pull out section of your catalog and I look at the on the go items and the layers items because I want to bring everything for them to see. I feel that if they can feel it, touch it, smell it, see it, they're going to buy it. So I do. I bring a scent pack, a bar, a tin, a spray, and a circle. Um, and then I also bring, today I have hand soap, a body spray, dryer disc, liquid, washer whips, body butter, and body lotion. You don't have to bring all that. If you don't like our body spray, don't bring it. Because if you're not going to have awesome things to say about a product, don't bring it. They're going to know that you don't really like it. So I also... Um, think about how I'm going to do the party in my head. The first thing I do when I go to a party, um, I set up. I bring as few things as possible so it takes me a very short time to set up. I show up about 30 minutes before the party starts, 15 minutes to plug in my warmer, set up my um, on-the-go items, and then I help my hostess. I help her set up the chairs. Does she need some help with snacks? Very simple. Keep it all about her. Collect any of the outside orders that she may have gotten with the host tic-tac-toe. Ask her who she thinks is going to book parties. I explain to her my booking beads. I give her three sets of beads, and I tell her if she books three parties tonight, she's going to get an extra gift. So um, sometimes you can play a booking game, or you can just tell them that this is the game. If your hostess is excited and they know they're going to get a half-price item at those parties, people are going to start walking into the party, and she's going to say, oh, Jane's going to do a party, Michelle's going to do a party, and you don't even have to give anything away. They just want their free item. So this is a great way to do that.
the guests start to arrive, you want to make sure you introduce yourself. You don't want to be eating the food, drinking the wine, sitting on the couch, doing nothing. You're the hostess and you want to, well, you're the consultant and you want to make that known. So a great way to start that is with your guess how many bag. Basically, you just tell them, guess how many are in the bag. You're going to win something. They fill out the enter my drawing slips. I have them fill out all the information. And then just like down here, they can fill out how many they think are in there. There's no set amount that you have to put in here. You can do how many you want. It can be new testers, old testers. Um, I like to do current testers. That way someone can take this home as a pouch party on that night. So that's just another way. That would be one of her parties that she books. So she's closer to earning uh, another half price reward and getting a gift from me that night. Because I told her if she books three, she gets another gift. So after that, I tell everybody how I know my hostess. I thank her and I give her a gift. For this party tonight, I think she's getting just a little goodie bag with some stuff I had on hand, a room spray, a hand sanitizer, and a dryer disc. There might be some other things in there, I don't remember. Um, so I thank her, give her her gift. I ask people if they've heard of Sensi. If they say no, I love that because then they get to kind of show off a little bit. If they have already known about Sensi, then I like to go into my next game, which is the card game. Basically, I'm rewarding them for asking questions. It takes about 10 minutes. You don't want to spend too much time on it because then they'll really be pulling for some questions and you'll get some kind of strange ones that shouldn't get rewards anyway. So they can ask, how long does a bar of wax last? So you give them a card. You answer their question. Somebody else will ask. You give them a card. Then you tell them, if you book a party tonight, I'm going to give you four cards right now. So if they, if they get four more cards, she also gets to give away a set of beads, and she is closer to getting her other free gift. And I usually just do um, either the current scent of the month or the next scent of the month, just depending on what time in the month it is, if I already have my scent of the month subscription. So after that, after 10 minutes have passed, we've passed out all my cards, we've got some good questions. Everybody adds up the face total of their cards. The person with the highest face total wins. And tonight I'm giving away, I think I'm doing the current scent of the month. I don't remember. Um, so I play that game. Then, um, sometimes I play another game. You can do the text me game where that you give them a sample and you give them your business card, which I have floating around here somewhere. Yep. So you just give them a sample and your business card. You ask them if they have their phones. They usually do. So then you say, the first person to text me their name is going to win a prize. This is a great way to get their information in your phone so that you can follow up. And it's a great way to get your number in their phone so when they need something, they know to look up Sensi Nicole or Crazy Sensi Lady, anything like that. The games you play, you want them to be income producing. So I sometimes play this game. However, I, as I told a lot of people in Fayetteville, I am more of a Facebook stalker than a, a phone person. So I tell them if they like my Facebook page, the first person to do that will get a prize, first person to friend me, first person to tag me in a status update. It's much easier for me to keep track. And the people that I hang out with, um, I think they're on Facebook more than they are phone call people. Um, so I give them a gift for that as well. So that is the time that I start talking about the catalog. I don't really talk about the catalog much sooner than that. And I always put a post-it post note on the bottom. And it's not really to hide the um, products. It just kind of works out that way. So it's kind of, it is kind of a surprise, but that's not why I do it. But this is how I want them to do their wish list. I don't really want them um, using an order form because it does cost money to buy order forms. and then. They'll scribble them out and they'll ask for another one. And I'm kind of cheap, so post-it notes are the way to go. You can get them cheap at the dollar store. So after they've listened to me, I've already booked possibly two parties. I tell them that I thank them for listening to me. I don't want to take up much more of their time because really everybody is there to sniff. So then and only then do I bring out my testers. They have been hidden away this entire time. People will ask, they'll be like, do you have all the testers? And you're like, yeah, I do. You can wait. Um, but most of the time, they don't really bring it up, so I don't let them sniff until it's the, until they've heard everything I had to say, until they've heard me tell them my Sensi story, we've answered some questions, I've booked some parties. Their reward for listening to me for 10 minutes, maybe, 
is to smell. So I separate everything into categories. I got these at Hobby Lobby, I think. I have a Hobby Lobby addiction. And I just stick the card in there. They're going to worry that they're going to get them all messed up into different categories, but it's a party. It's supposed to get messy. So I just kind of lay everything out. I have all different ones. The bigger categories have bigger boxes. And that's when we start sniffing. I tell them after they're done sniffing, if they have any questions with the catalog, when they're ready to order, they can come over to me because I want to be in a different section of the room. I don't want to be up their butts. I don't want them to feel pressured. I kind of want them to do their own thing for a while. So I go off to another side. I have my money bag. I have my calculator. And I have my calendar because I want to book parties. So before they do orders, you can also do a booking game. If nobody booked parties um, with the booking beads without you playing a game, definitely play a game. I like to play the dice game where you roll the dice. And I have... A little game, which um, Katie Farner did this one. So each number represents something on the board. And you would use your perpetual reward for their party. So if they roll the number two, they get $10 extra free products at their party. So it's just another good way to get parties. Um, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Only put as much money into your business as you want. If you're having a hard time booking parties and you have a little bit of extra money to spend, play a game like this. If not, just do the booking beads. Or maybe these people just want to book parties because that happens too and you don't even have to mention a free gift. So this is how I do my parties. Um, some of the most important things that you want to bring, of course, are testers because I have gone to parties where I have forgotten testers before. Um, you don't need to bring a million warmers. You, only can, you can bring one if you want. And the other most important thing, a cord. How many times have you gotten to a party and the outlet's on the other side of the room and you want your table over here and it's not working? So always bring a cord. That is all I can think of right now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to find me on Facebook. I know a lot of people had questions. There's no right or wrong way to do a party. If you go in and do it my way and it's not successful, try it your own way. Um, maybe you don't do home parties at all. Maybe you only do pouch parties. Package up like 20 of these cents, catalog, order forms, send them. You're getting paid and somebody else is doing your job. If your Facebook parties, um, Evie Cody has that great Facebook party group with her approved um, outline. Make sure you do that as well. Home parties are my favorite, but they don't have to be everybody's favorite. So again, if you have questions, let me know and I'm happy to help anybody. Have a great day.